After igniting the 2021 GameStop short squeeze, Roaring Kitty returns to social media triggering a MeCoin rally. Now rumors abound that GameStop might be dipping its toes into the crypto waters, with reports suggesting that the retail giant is buying Bitcoin after its massive pump. Stay tuned for more updates on this intriguing development, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and let's start. So here we are starting off with Bitcoin is preparing for a new move higher. MACD crossed bullish below the zero line. Successful retest of 100 day EMA. Higher low break $65,000. Using our new Bitcoin breakdown metrics, we are now able to discreetly isolate points of severe unrealized loss and investor, uh, investor capitalization. In this article, we introduce a new framework to assess seller exhaustion across multiple timeframes and investor cohorts. Next up we have is Bitcoin owes a few tricks and it does them well. This power of 3 setup has a target of $82,000. New billionaire Mark Cuban says anti crypto stands could cost Biden the presidency, the first Bitcoin election. The current price action compared to the PA around the previous Bitcoin halving event, still playing out similarly choppy price action after a breakdown from the ascending triangle, maintain higher lows from here and it starts looking ready for a spike higher. If Bitcoin goes to $70,000, $8.6 billion worth of short liquidations are there, and we are basically ready for them. Bitcoin previous range versus now. I do think these two consolidations look look uh, actually very familiar. Price action percentage movements, duration of the range and sentiment are similar. We recently swapped the range, retook it and are now in a pretty brutal chop where everyone is a flip flopping every day. The same happened last time before price took off higher. Back then this was coupled with the ETF inflows really accelerating and pushing price higher. Whether we can get that kind of strength in the short term I don't know. We do have PPI and CPI coming up today tomorrow which will definitely cause short term volatility. Each situation is different so keep that in mind. I pot these fractals to show how price action isn't actually as unique or bad as people perceive it to be. We've gone through many of these kind of consolidations and we've also gone through much worse kind of consolidations. I think it's key to stick to important high time frame levels and just take it from there. Don't mind the low time frame noise, most of us are here because we believe in a higher prices later this cycle, focus on that. Whether this exact scenario will play out is something we will see in due time. I do like the similarities in both price actions and sentiment. About 65,500, I would gain more confidence in this scenario. Until then, we are range bound between 59,000 and 74,000 dollars. Next up we have is, hundreds of assets managers have already reported owning Bitcoin ETFs. Now some of the biggest banks are disclosing their ownership of Bitcoin ETFs, UBS, JP Morgan, Bank of Montreal, Wells Fargo, BNP, PAV, Paribas and many more. Some of these are small holdings, others from 50 million to many hundreds of millions. The important thing is that the taboo of owning Bitcoin among institutions is being smashed right before our eyes. An allocation to Bitcoin is no longer crazy. All of this while the price of Bitcoin effortlessly floats above 60k and with zero hint of market mania. Will a huge parabolic run happen this time? I wouldn't bet against it. Whatever shape this bull market takes, we are now at the beginning of a very long run of mainstream adoption and of the beginning. Uh, the new game stops Roaring Kitties back on Twitter, causing GME to search 90% overnight. GameStop won a battle over hedge funds, but Bitcoin is poised to win the war. Bitcoin is a new hope for the world. First, Bitcoin restores economic independence to entrepreneurs by giving them a way to store wealth that cannot be plundered. Working class people now have a savings medium that does not force them to take unnecessary risks to extend their working lives in a race to outpace inflation. Second, each incremental unit of reservation demand for Bitcoin is decremental to fiat currency since to save Bitcoin you must de divest your fiat. A shrinking market value for dishonest money can only benefit humanity. Since fiat currency is the stealth funding source for every dictator, world war and internment camp in human history. 
By nullifying the inflation financing of government militarization, Bitcoin represents a restoration of hope for the retreat of global warfare and re-advancement of civilization. Finally, by disrupting the institution through which politicians enrich themselves and externalize costs, the central bank Bitcoin forces government to be more accountable to the preferences of their citizens. In a Bitcoin-denominated world, citizens would be treated more like government customers than slaves. Honest money empowers the realization of all our high hopes for civilization. Next stop. Simple mass Bitcoin. The average human can only own a 0.002625 Bitcoin, a high value calculation but will actually make us that only 8 billion people would hold uh, a 21 million Bitcoins and each should be holding 0.002625 which is if you own a 0.1 bitcoin you own a 38 people's average humans uh, uh, like uh, holding and if you own 0.1 bitcoin you basically own 38 times the amount of bitcoin the average human can own and just remember there are some bitcoins that are lost forever a 1 million actually uh, being held by the uh, by the uh, by the satoshi nakamoto which will never be used and basically a lot of other companies that are not able to sell it right now and probably will sell in the future so basically we don't have much bitcoins left for a people's use so you just need to understand that next stop we go for Ethereum is trapped and I think the market knows it when denominating in Bitcoin. A few people I've spoken to who hold heavy Ethereum backs are offloading them in the bull run, which makes sense. Similar mindset to holding derivative stock of Bitcoin. I have never been able to value Ethereum. Who is Rory and Kitty? GameStop champions returns for us the creation of Sorian meme coins. So Rory and Kitty, aka Keys Gill, uh, helped uh, orchestrate the 2021 GameStop short squeeze. His return to social media on Monday triggered a meme coin rally, as basically a lot of people uh, actually created the coins based on uh, GME on his name, and all of them were Solana based, making several million dollars for the creators. So basically, people scammed people and that's how it always works. Kiss Gill, the meme market guru, known on YouTube and acts as Roaring Kitty, Gill's uh, real claim to fame stamps from Reddit where he uses the handle dfuckingvalue. Jill analyzes posted to the Wall Street Bad subreddit helped inspire the community to act in tandem against the interest of hedge funds that were shorting the GameStop. What followed Capital catapulted the subreddit to international fame and kickstarted a significant rally in meme investment. Probably by 1000% increase in GameStop stock. Other Roaring uh, Kitty tip-offs and hosts uh, of meme coins enjoyed a significant bull run that peaked in summer of 2021. Following intense scrutiny of his role in the event, Jill went dark just as that year's investment frenzy reached its apex. He maintained a low profile right up until his sudden return on Monday as news of his resurfacing spread. GameStop shares surged by over 100%. Meanwhile, in a parallel world of cryptocurrencies, meme coins have broken out of a sluggish trend that has gripped the market for a few weeks after creating a bunch of coins people may themselves reach out of just his name. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.